One of the conventions of this kind of television is you must never, ever, ever question anyone's religious beliefs. This allows Beck to pretend that he is a literalist on the Bible. He can do this because, like all phony literalists on the Bible, he never, ever acknowledges the many, many things in the Bible that he does not believe. The Bible in its entirety, Old and New Testament, is not believed by any sane person. For example, no sane person believes that the penalty for working on the Sabbath should be death. But the Bible says it should be. For six days, work is to be done, but the seventh day is a Sabbath of rest, holy to the Lord. Whoever does any work on the Sabbath day must be put to death. Exodus 31:15. Glenn Beck believes the Bible is wrong about that, very wrong, which means Glenn Beck believes that God never said that, even though the Bible says that God did say that. Because if Glenn Beck believes that God said that, Glenn Beck would never have done this. Let them have a shot. I'll take it on. That's who we must be today. We must take it on so our children can have a chance. Yes, there's Glenn Beck working on the Sabbath in front of thousands of witnesses, none of whom struck him down dead for doing it, and many of whom actually think that they are literal believers of the Bible, too, when in fact none of them are. The funny thing about the Sabbath is that religions can't even agree when it is. Jews say it's Saturday, Christians say it's Sunday, but Judaism was here long before Christianity when God supposedly declared a death penalty for not properly observing the Sabbath. God certainly meant Saturday because that was the only recognized Sabbath at the time God supposedly said that. So Beck was definitely working on the day the Bible tells him not to, or he should be killed if he does. And he absolutely would not have done that if he believes what the Bible says about the Sabbath. Glenn Beck is, like every other modern believer of the Bible, a selective believer of the Bible, a very, very selective believer. He does not believe that adultery should be punishable by death. Beck is on his second marriage, which makes him an adulterer, according to the Bible, and Beck and I agree that he should not be put to death for that. Beck also does not believe that anyone should be put to death for taking the Lord's name in vain, even though the Bible says that is the correct penalty for speaking God's name in a non-reverential tone. Beck does not believe that children should be put to death for dishonoring their parents, even though the Bible says they should be. Beck completely agrees with me, completely agrees with me, that the Bible is wrong about those things.